All right, so we're going to jack it up supporting the lower control arm. And we need to get this upper control arm accessible because we're going to have to remove that bolt, separate this spindle. I've already put re-grease this, don't forget. You know, if you're in here doing stuff like this, go ahead and especially if you've got the SPCs or any of these that are serviceable, go ahead and put some grease in there. I'll try to put a link in here what grease I'm using. It was recommended by uh, another enthusiast. We're going to see if we can get some better life out of here. It's got a higher percentage of molly in there. So hopefully that will help prolong the life. And yes, it's normal for these to leak out of here as they move and everything. So I just had, um, you know, they, they recommend SPC anytime you off-road, you know, get into a lot of uh, wet material, a lot of dirt and stuff like that to go ahead and add some grease in there. And that's going to help just uh, get the moisture out or any uh, contamination stuff. So, you know, that's why I'm going to go ahead and do that. Plus, I've got some events coming up real soon that uh, I want to go ahead and get that done. So that's just a quick maintenance item. I'm here. So let's get that bolt off. We're going to drop this down. And then we're going to get that CV out. This would probably be a lot easier if I take my skid off, but uh, this is going to be good practice for off-road off repair. So this is a handy little tool that I've got in my tool bag. I got this at Harbor Freight. It's called Pittsburgh 9 inch. We're going to see how effective the tool this is for pulling out that CV. I don't think I'm going to be able to get the leverage that I want. Another Harbor Freight special. Just another pry bar. Something else that I've got in my tool bag. Of course, it would probably help. I had two hands. All right, we got the factory busted one out. slid right in there, didn't it? All right, so we've dropped the lower control arm down as far as it'll go. Press the CV in, and then it will squeeze into place. So I'm gonna just take this arm and gently maneuver it up, make sure the splines are adjusted into place. And then we're going to align it back up with that upper control arm. I know it didn't show that part, but removing the caliper is going to save a lot of hassle. I'm just going to kind of snug it because there's no reason to get it any tighter right now. Got her upper control arm nut in place. Make sure your lines aren't inked or in the way. We'll get that back into place. This, of course, keeps that rotor from sliding everywhere and your brakes coming off. So we're going to get this 
nut on the CV. Get that tightened up. And we'll be cooking with gas. Okay. That looks good. So let's see what kind of damage is done. Of course, that's the noise I was making. Oh, well, there's a ball bearing. There's another ball bearing. I'm assuming that it tore out the ball bearings. Not really anything to see. Just a bunch of goopy mess, but you can kind of see a couple of ball bearings in there. And I'm guessing that what happened is those bearings just slipped out and tore away and they're going to fit in those grooves so with those ball bearings gone then there's nothing for this to grip against that is definitely the weak point of all this that's for sure so there you have it and that's how you get your pivot and everything while it spins i can't tell with all the grease if there's damage of course i wouldn't be able to tell what came from driving on it and stuff. There is some scoring right here. So that could be from the initial damage or it could be from driving. Let's see if we can clean that up a little bit so you can see. So I don't know if you can see that or not. That's just some of the damage. ball bearing. Question is what happens when the weak point of your drivetrain shifts to the CV axles? Well that I found out with too much cowbell and just getting in too much of a hurry. Knew better. Completely my fault. All right so the other side is going to be just the same. It's starting to get dark. Hopefully we don't have to pull out the flashlight but there's no reason to film both sides and we've already cut open the other boot so I've shown you the damage and we've done the comparison. So uh, I don't know, I might do that in a different video, do the comparison. I don't know, I have to see about that. But either way, I wanna get back to it so I can get done and get to shower and go out to dinner with my lovely wife. Have any questions, comments? You know where to put them. See ya.